morning, everybody. This is Chandra. Chandra with my coffee. Coffee with Chandra. Um, coming out of the heartland. It's a little dark and gloomy today. But that's okay because we need rain. So, well, <laughs> after the flooding, you know, it's, yeah, that's calmed down a little bit. But we do probably need a little bit of rain. So, this morning I wanted to talk about visualization. And that is so important if you want to make a big difference in your life and a lasting difference in your life because if you can't see it first in your mind's eye, then it probably won't happen. You'll probably stay where you are. And that's fine for some people. But I am of the belief that you need to keep growing, you need to keep changing to reach your goals and your dreams. and. Visualization is a great way to do that. I listened to a webinar yesterday by Erin Birch. It was very, very inspiring. <coughs> and she really hit hard on the topic of visualization. I know we just had the Olympics this summer and it that is a huge, huge way that people visualized, or I guess a large group of people that did. They have coaches and everything else to help Olympians visualize because it's that important. If your mind is not in the game, then you might as well just go home. Seeing it in your mind, I believe, is more important than actually practicing it with your body. I used to... <laughs> I, grew, I took piano lessons growing up, of course, and I don't know if I should even admit to this as a longtime piano teacher myself, but often I did not practice during the week. I know it's a big shock. Everybody does practice, right, for your, for your lessons all the time. No? No, we don't. Um, so what I would do, because I had piano lessons in Iowa City and it was a bit of a drive from our house. And typically mom would be driving and I would be practicing the air piano. But again, I was mentally practicing for the most part. And a lot of times I actually did better after I did that than when I read normally practiced because it's really that focus, that mental focus on <laughs> Sarah. Yes, it is unbelievable. I did not practice. Good morning. So that is key. And everyone should practice visualization. If you want to move forward and accomplish your goals, it is instrumental, no pun intended of my story before, it's instrumental in being able to make a mindset change. What you want to do, well, first of all, you need to know what your vision is. And by vision, I just mean your goals, your dreams, what you want to accomplish. What is your vision? We call it vision because you're seeing it before it happens. You have to see it before it happens. When you're playing music, you know what's going to happen before you play it. When you are in sports, I know not much about sports, but I do know. For instance, if you're going to be doing a free throw, is that right? Doing a free throw? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> you throw up the ball and you visualize it before it's there. You have that follow through with your arm. And you have all of these things in motion to know it's going to happen before it happens. And I think it's amazing the power that your brain has over you. So the first thing you want to do is have your vision. It's really good if you write that down. I'm not, I didn't even mean to get into the whole vision thing this morning, but you should have that written down because if you write it down, it makes it more concrete. It makes it more real and more of a chance than of 
coming to fruition. So write down your vision. Post it on your bathroom mirror. Post it by the door as you leave so you can see it every day. Put it in your wallet. All these things as a constant reminder. What am I trying to accomplish? Are all my actions working toward accomplishing that goal? So, got your vision. I'm going to take a little drink or coffee here because I haven't had one yet today. Got my Iowa State mug. Even though I can proudly say they have won no games yet this year. Woo! Almost on Saturday, but that doesn't quite win the game, does it? Anyway, where was I? Oh, vision. You have your vision. So, I want you to do a few things. One is, before you even get up in the morning, before your feet hit the floor, you should just lay in bed for five, ten minutes after you wake up, and you visualize the goals you want to accomplish. That could be, do you want a beach body? Do you just want to be healthier? Do you want to own your own home in the next year, five years, whatever the case may be? Do you want to find a new relationship? Do you want to strengthen existing relationship? Do you want to grow closer to God? Do you want to do mission work? Do you want whatever you want to do? Do you want to get better at your job or at your sport or your whatever? Hey, Paul. So think about whatever that vision is, whatever you want to accomplish and see it. See it, see it down to the detail in your mind. How, not necessarily even how you're going to do that, but visualize what you, where you want to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you take all these components that you want to accomplish, you see them in your mind's eye, and have several moments in time that you look at. Where do you want to be with that in three months? Where do you want to be with that in six months, nine months, a year? or even five years, because it's obviously not going to happen all at once, but you have to see that, have vision of it before it happens. So visualize, see that, before you even get up, start your day with that vision in your mind. As you go about doing all of your daily routine, all of us have gaps in our daily routine. Everyone. I don't care how, how busy you are. Everyone has them. Take time during a monotonous, thoughtless routine. We all have them. And practice, <laughs> excuse me, practice visualizing 10 times a day. It could be when you're making dinner could be when you're stopped at a stoplight, when you're waiting in line for groceries or the drive through at the bank, wherever you're ha you happen to be that you aren't doing something. And you know what? You don't need to be on your phone for a minute. Put it down and visualize. That's the only other thing you probably would be doing during that time. Put it down. Except when I'm talking. Visualize 10 times a day. It will reiterate to your mind that you're trying to accomplish goals. Each time you visualize and you keep coming back to that, coming back and coming back, it will help break down your old mental thought processes that are worthless to you and that are holding your mind back. And I don't mean not like, oh, I'm sending this out to the universe and the universe will send it back to me. That's, that's not even what this is about. Your mind is a very powerful organ and it has all of these thoughts in place and some of them are not doing you any good. Some of them you might have learned subconsciously when you were a little kid and 
since then you think, well, well I can't do that because you have that thought in your mind that you heard when you were five. And it's time to write over that thought process. And by visualizing and by doing something proactive like that, you will break down those old detrimental thought processes. And that's all you're doing. I will talk about this more another day, but there is a mechanism in your mind that the more you think about something and have a goal towards something, the more you will see in your life that helps to move that forward. It is a real thing. It's not just like things that are attracted to, <laughs> attracted to you for no reason. It's because you are probably subconsciously actually doing those. Paul, I think you can fly. You have flown before, but I wouldn't suggest doing it without an airplane or something. <laughs> but whatever you can put your mind to. Um, so, visualize 10 times a day. <clears throat> then, when you go to bed at night, take another 5-10 minutes and visualize your goals again. Here. Making that full circle. You started when you first when you woke up to get you right in the mindset. And it's great to do it right before you go to bed because that will solidify in your mind right before you go to sleep. And when your mind is sleeping, it will still be in that subconscious thought pattern. Let go of the bad thought processes and visualize on all of these things that you want to accomplish. If you don't, you can stay right where you are and that is fine for a lot of people. But if it's not fine for you, change it. Change your mind first. Change your mind first or the actions will not follow. That's the second part of it, but you have to have that mental mindset first. I think that's about it. I know Amber just hopped on. Morning, Amber! But I am just about done wrapping it up. I'm a little early today because I have a meeting at 8, and I like to be a little early, so that's about it. Everybody have a great day, and if you like the video, hello! If you liked my video, or if you thought it was helpful, or that it might help someone else, feel free to share it, like it, comment. <laughs> I'll be putting it on my YouTube channel, so you can subscribe to that if you want. If you just if you search Chandra Rankin in uh, YouTube, I actually have a couple of accounts, but I have one in particular that I am putting all of these on. Or if you want more inspiration, I have some books listed. I have read some, and some are to come. And I also have some inspirational memes and also just actually my blog it's on my website chandrarankin.com so so much good stuff hey scott tracy morning um i was gonna say something else i can't really think of what that was Yes, Tracy, I'm on earlier today, and it's a little darker. I don't like that, but days are getting shorter as we get to closer to winter. I have an 8 o'clock meeting, so I'm getting in a little bit early so I can get undiscombobulated before my meeting. <laughs> Plus, there aren't enough chairs for everybody, so I like to get there early and get a chair. <laughs> yes, I work in facilities, and we don't have enough chairs for everyone. Ha ha. No, it's just in a conference room and somehow the chairs disappeared, some of them. But anyway, <laughs> maybe I'll visualize there will be more chairs, just go get one. But anyway, that is about it. Hey, Rebecca. And I will see you later. And like I said, like, comment, share if you would like. And otherwise, have a great day.